Hello there, Chris Hicks with UT Extension in Smith County with you today. We are in a field of sorghum sudan grass, or you may have heard it referred to as sudex. A lot of this has been planted in 2017 by our farmers in Smith County and surrounding areas. And we had a pretty bad drought in the fall of 2016 that really hurt our tall fescue and our orchard grass, those cool season pastures and hay fields. And in, in the meantime, before those can be reseeded this fall, uh, guys needed grazing. And uh, one thing that they planted is sorghum sudan grass or sudex. And a lot of people are afraid to use this type material, this summer annual, because they, they've read about nitrates or heard about nitrates. Uh, nitrates can be very uh, bad. They can actually be deadly to animals, but there's something that we can definitely manage and test for. Nitrates occur when pastures or hay fields are fertilized heavily with nitrogen. Uh, and then maybe we have a drought, don't get a lot of rain, and the plant isn't able to use that nitrogen, and it's available in the plant as a nitrate. And so animals consume that, and it can be very toxic to animals. Uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue this year because we've had a tremendous amount of rain. Uh, but just to, to make sure, we're going to test this Sudex to make sure that it doesn't contain nitrates. It's a quick screen that we have available at the UT Extension office, absolutely free to do the quick screen and test for nitrates. So I don't want you to be afraid of Sudex because of nitrates because we do have a quick and easy way to test for it. So what I've, what I've done here is I've, I've pulled up a Sudex plant and I've cut it uh, in half uh, along the stem. And you can see here, I've got a couple nodes here and here that I'm actually gonna drop this solution on. This solution is sulfuric acid, so you wanna be really careful not to get that on your clothes. And so we drop it on there. Now, if this had nitrates, it would turn blue. Uh, it would turn blue, and uh, a lot of times it'll turn blue really quickly if it has nitrates. Say I'm putting it on a couple different nodes that I've split the stem in half. I get no color whatsoever. So I'm confident that this plant doesn't have nitrates. Uh, if I was really worried about it, I could test several more plants throughout the field. But I like, like I said, this year we've had plenty of moisture it shouldn't be an issue, but if you're, if you're afraid of, of nitrates or worried that your hay or your forage may have nitrates, contact your local extension office and ask them about this quick screen. Again, a free, easy way to test for it. Now, if that had turned blue, we would know that nitrates were in the plant. We wouldn't necessarily know how much, though, so we would know, need to do a, a more thorough analysis and actually do a forage test to screen and see how much nitrate we had in the plant before we fed it. If it has just a little bit, we can, we can manage around that. If it has a tremendous amount, then we need to wait for a rain or, or manage that differently. So hope this has been helpful to you. If you have more questions, contact your local extension office.